take Sergio Mane as a classical example. Yeah. Football is like uh, a religion. People yeah. follow football it's like, like crazy. Religion. Yeah, football wow. is really, really crazy. So a few more days to go before the football World Cup in Qatar. Yeah. So we all know uh, people will be glued to their televisions. That is those who can get to Qatar. Yeah. And some people have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to Qatar and watch um, their yeah, national football, teams yeah. f f football teams play. Mm -hmm. So in the Gambia also is the same passion. The statement is very strong. You yeah. say like football is like a religion. That's the passion about it. That's the that's the passion about it. The following that it has. Wow. The popularity it has. So that's why I said football is. Um, I'm like speaking in that camp. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So do you agree that football is like a uh, religion? Of course, because it's just like you can't compare it straight to a religion, but you can say like you are you are a believer. Yeah. You are a believer, and football you start with it at an early age. Maybe you play by yourself later mm -hmm. on. You are just somebody who is watching the games, or you are even giving advices, and you will watch all your life football. You know. Okay. So it's like that. You will always like. We are all like all people who love football are like journalists. Wow. Like we are all small journalists because everybody <laughs> have, uh, uh, you know. To say about yeah, about yeah. 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 In fact, it is one sport mm -hmm. where everyone is an ex expert. Like, wow. When I said, "Oh, this referee is not fair," <laughs> he, you know, he spoiled that game. Look at the foul. Look at the penalty. Look at the yeah. So, awesome. Yeah, awesome. exactly. So that's that football. Yeah. yeah. So and what is very important is like it brings people together. Yeah. And then coming back to this, uh, most of the footballers in the Gambia don't like going to school. School. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, going to school, I think, um, is still a matter of um, your background and your your passion for education. Um, if you play football and you put all your mind on football, maybe football wouldn't work um, because what life you always have a have a plan B. Yeah. Um, I'm into journalism, but if journalism doesn't work for me, I should look for a, a better option, a, yeah. a, a, a way to get myself employed and a way to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. So as a footballer, especially the young ones, you're going to uh, play football, but at the same time, make sure you have a life skill mm -hmm. whether life that life skill is through education maybe you go to class and, and you study about a particular trade or you have a certain skill mm -hmm. you can be a welder man you can be a, a carpenter you can be uh, something else um, a different skill yeah. just in case the football doesn't work you can fall onto that yeah. but if you just believe in just football football you can be injured yeah. you you may just completely lose your form mm -hmm. um you might not be the great footballer that you were some two three four years ago mm -hmm. so i think football you can do it with education or skill and yes sir um what is going to be your final message to the people that are watching you and probably this is the best chance for them to learn from you um i can say like it's it's simple there's a player who didn't care about school a big talented footballer so he was even lucky through through the years to make it to a point to sign a professional contract. The time he have to sign uh, his professional contract, this guy he never went to school, so he don't even know what to sign, and he didn't even know how to sign. Wow! So that means I had to show him how to sign. Mm -hmm. But you have that means at that moment you are helpless. Mm -hmm. If you don't have someone somebody to trust, you don't know what you're even signing at the club. So, education at the end will come back to yeah. you. So, if you are not educated, at the point you are signing your contract, you are again just in hands of other people. Mm -hmm. You should at least know what the contract tells you. So, going to school and being educated, it's the same important as going to the pitch. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, beautiful verse out there. Today we're going to stop here. But then, um, just to let you know um, about it, um, education is the key. Bokumali once says, um, education is the power. Education is what opens many doors. So, what is going to be a message to the people out there that may come across this video watching? Well, I would just tell them life is about hard work, determination, and believing in what you do, yeah. and thinking that, you know what, all the energy and effort that I put into what I do, what I love most, one day it will pay off. Yeah. So let them continue believing in that no. and work towards that. Thank you so much for joining us. So, 
if you're talking about becoming a president, becoming a lawyer, becoming a minister, becoming a footballer, uh, becoming of um, a wealthy man or a market, at least try to learn how to read and write. I think that's the high level of you being educated. If you can read and write, and probably what you're reading and then you're understanding exactly what is written down, um, you are you will never be at lost so education is the power education is the voice and education is what makes you rich um some people say money is everything fine if you have money you cannot sign or somebody will sign for you and at the end of the day he or she will end up eating from what you have work um so it's it's at the end of the day it's going to be a waste for you so we're going to use this medium to thank each and everyone that is watching us wow, for the first time in west coast region the gambia you can present grand final for the kids this is what you have been waiting for kids with aspiring talent do you wish to see the gambian michael jackson the youngest st or just crazy then worry no more come and witness kids with talent organized by youths and children advocating for media excellence yakam there will be drama dancing poetry miming lip singing and many more <laughs> Come from South, West, East and North to witness amazing kids with talent. They are beautiful, young and talented. There will be food and snack, special guests of artists, ST Brikama Boy. Of course, I am the voice. He's the main host. For more information, call three six nine nine triple five or follow us on YouTube by typing Y A C A M E Yakam. Don't forget to subscribe us as well. So parents and youth, come and support your children. Members of Yakam and the voice B M. Are behind the soul. VM Production. VM International. You are the solution to make this world a better place.